Some boy have stone, and man like me have limestone. They ain't believe in us. God did. <laughs> hold on, hold on, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, follow me. God is great. Make sure you take care of what you love. You know, life is like a flower. You have to take care of it, give it water. Let it shine. You don't take care of it. They ain't believe in us. God did. This one's for the ladies. You're the motherfucking best. Keep on being a fucking queen and just say fuck the rest. I hope that you know that you're beautiful. That is for sure. You don't need a man or Instagram to validate your worth. You have control of your own goals, your body, and your life. Do not let anyone come in and take your fucking rights. So to the ladies, fucking thank you for just being great. Because being you is something to motherfucking celebrate. Fucking warning! The fuck is wrong with you? It's the second fucking time I said it. Don't look at me with your thousand yard stare. It ain't gonna fucking work. Get your shit fucking squared away. This is why fucking motherfuckers like you go to divorces and your fucking wives leave you. You can't get your shit straight. It's the second fucking time. We count again. I'm gonna take off all your fucking clothes and I'm gonna drag you up and down this fucking thing. You gotta be the dumbest fuckers I've ever met. Last fucking time! Guess who's getting their child support check cut off? You. And your alimony too. Because I just drafted a petition to Congress. And I think the men in America are gonna sign it. And to any woman who wishes to course correct before things get ugly, because things are about to get very, very ugly. May I recommend to you a book? It's a special book because it's blank. Everything a man wants his woman to say during an argument, which is nothing. Hm. My name is Miss Submissive and I'm not running for office. I'm just about to run feminism in the ground. Portugal, muy buenos jugadores. Francia tiene muy buenos jugadores, último campeón. Y Alemania nunca se la puede descartar, pero raza superior siempre juega hasta el fin. Since I had to watch this, I'm dragging you all with me. And you will be a changed person after watching this. I used to be an academic. Do you remember that one time I told you that an old guy got his mannequin pregnant? Uh, maybe bumped up. Emily has. Emily's gained a lot of weight over the past couple of weeks. That's Emily. And my real life green girlfriend looked at me and said, Is she pregnant? She gave birth. Emily, the mannequin, gave birth. Emily, come on. Push. Push. Wrap it up in this blanket. Oh, wow. It's a... It's a baby girl with three legs. Oh, wait. Never mind. It's a boy. Two legs. He's blessed like his daddy. Wow. There's no denying who the dad of this baby is. This baby looks just like me, identical. Oh. Okay, baby. Daddy loves you. Looks just like me. I'm gonna clean her, clean him up, and I'll show him off to you guys. If you followed me before I got into this saga, I'm sorry. I used to teach you guys stuff on this app. I used to teach. And I'm proud to be an American. This motherfucking McDonald's never have my motherfucking fresh cookies. I gotta call every time for my fucking fresh cookies. Hi. Are y'all gonna have my fresh cookies? And how long? How long? Two more minutes? Two more minutes. God damn. And what's your name? You the new manager? The new one, right? Damn. Two more minutes. I'm going to. I'm going. I'm going to ask you next time I come. Can y'all please have some fresh cookies? Cause I call. I literally call. I literally call and make orders every time. It's not fun. For three cookies, I gotta pull up for three cookies. Two minutes. All right. Okay. All right. We'll post. Post the damn thing. You say you want? Yeah, I am. I am. All right. Give me my damn money for sure, cause y'all got some raggedy ass employees anyway. I don't want y'all motherfucking cookies. The mot
motherfuckers up in there showing each other manicures and shit. Manicures? That's what y'all got. Give me my money back. Give me my motherfucking money back. I'ma tag your ass too. I'ma tag your ass on Facebook. So look for me. Cause this shit is ridiculous. I gotta call every time for some fresh cookies at McDonald's. Why I gotta call every time? This shit is ridiculous. Yeah, my name is Brandy Wooten. Follow me on Facebook, the Brandy Hive going up. Woo, woo, woo. I really do this. I'm a real blogger, though, honey. Where's my money? Can I have my money? You already been threatening me. You gonna pass me my money, so give me my fucking money. Damn. All right, hurry up, then, because you that's what you said. You said you was gonna give me my money, so give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Where's my money? Give me my money. Thank you, boo. I will never come over here again. Look at her raggedy ass. Remember her face. The Brandy Hive going up, and I will leave when I want to. I will, bitch, you too. But Dad, please know that while I am grateful and highly aware of all that you've given this family, I still don't miss you. When you died, I felt like there was a hole. I missed something, but it wasn't you. It was the idea of what you could become. I miss being able to hope and wish that one day you turn a corner and see the world from my perspective. I miss the idea that one day you might help me fight for the things that matter. I missed my fantasy of you. Because when you died, it solidified the fact that you'll never be what you could have been, but only what you are. And what you are is a racist, misogynistic, xenophobic, Trump-loving, cis-straight white man. That is all you will ever be to me. And Dad, before you tell me to respect the dead, please remember that you disrespected and disregarded the lives and deaths of entire communities of people with your ideology. You told me to never back down, so I won't. You know for a fact that even against you, I'm not afraid to share my peace. You are everything I aspire not to be, and I refuse to stand up here and sing the praises of a man who is the paradigm of white supremacy. So I'll take your racist mindset, I'll take your money, and I'll take your advice. And I swear to God I will make this world a better place, not at all because of you, but in exact opposition to you. Seconds, we're gonna get hit by that. What? Yes, we are gonna get hit by the sonic boom. It's gonna be coming. <laughs> Let's go, Artemis. Oh my god, it's like blinding, you guys. This is it wild. It's brighter than a Falcon 9, Holy. I can tell you that. And look, it's heading straight to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> They're feeling it soon. Oh, here, here's the sound. Here it comes. When a boy is truly in love, he will act like a child. But when a girl is truly in love, she will act like a mother. I can get in the front. Hi there. Wait, is that off? Can you turn it off? Uh, it's just a live stream. I'm not recording a video. Okay, I, I can't. It's like a live. It's
is a live stream. I, it's not recording. Don't worry, it's not recording or anything. So what is it doing? Um, I'm just talking to my friends. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I was just, I'm just exploring LA, and so they're just watching. How was your night? Good, how was your night? Good, good, good. What's your name? Caroline. Sebastian. Sebastian, nice to meet you. Hello? You were looking for Caroline, right? Yeah, wh where, where are you visiting from? From Washington, D.C. Oh, D.C. Well, I live here. Oh my god, that's awesome. Are you an Uber? No. Oh my god, drop me off. Oh, okay. I, oh I, my god. I, I, I was a misunderstanding. Okay, thank Forgive you. Me.